I am consistently reminded how fantastical this technology is that we get to remain connected across the world with other fellow realists. I state this often on my channel, so not to sound like a broken record, I just got off a stream with some Londoners, and I'm reminded what a big world, yet small world we live in. And yes, I am fascinated with accents and dialect where we're from. I think it has something to do with my anthropological interests and where and why humans come to areas that they do and speak the way that they do. There's like an entirely separate dictionary of words, even though we speak the same language. You guys know what I'm saying. All my American subscribers, you know, when you talk to people from other countries, you compare and it's just, it's funny. It's comical. I notice something when, let me just give some examples. Um, my recipient said the phrase, I can't be bothered. And we use that sometimes here, but mostly... People just say, ain't nobody got time for that. That means the same thing. Or or just straight up fuck that bullshit. For us, it's all emotion. But when you talk to people from Europe and the UK especially, it's like their language is so refined. They've thought clearly about what they're saying for so many centuries. Um, there's like a hidden, deeper meaning behind their choice of words. I'm not alone in thinking this, but like, I'm not making a big deal about it. I think it's just hilarious and fascinating <clears throat> to talk to people around the world and um, learn things. You know, when you travel, you have these sorts of experiences. Um, you know, like they might say you want to get on your trousers and go for a jog, but we might say, you know, I'm just going on a run. Like everything is uh, pretty simplified here. Like King of the Hill. Bobby? Okay. This is me just chit-chatting away. I also wanted to note that I do not necessarily wish prolonged suffering. I don't think the collapse should drag on, even though we're in the we're in the midst of it right now. Pretty obvious by the way that, you know, everything is collapsing. Uh environment, real estate, you know, economic, political, all the things, and you could say, oh, things have never been better, have they? I don't know. Another thing I don't understand, okay, moving on, is people who, they're like the exact opposite of me. They will take seemingly vaguely connected incidences or coincidences or facts about a said particular event or events and they will use their ego to reinforce the connection between or use their own pride and um, naive ignorant belief to think that this is all connected somehow <clears throat> and surely there must be a you know a conspiracy you know there are dubious forces of this type of person I'm describing is like the exact opposite of me. It does not rely on critical thinking and journalistic preference of sourcing your claims and drawing the, you know, the dots between them using actual evidence. You know, people like to just say hearsay bullshit. And a whole lot of the world is that. Miscommunication, just bullshit and our day-to-day -day activities are driven by hormonal changes. You know, we can make right split second or our big decisions based on how we're feeling and how our hormones are doing. So it's just it's just all too much to juggle. It's a big clusterfuck. There's no way we have global cooperation, let alone solve the crisis in Ukraine and everywhere else. You could say I'm the I'm the Cassandra, but I prefer Doom Wizard. That's much more accurate. And I'm pretty raw and gritty on my videos, I know. I have a lot of fun making this content. And um, I just wanted to re-emphasize thank you. And some comments from Nate and Jeremy. 
you know, the stars aligned. I read this stuff from you guys. I'm like, oh, people get it, and they read exactly what I need to hear. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just kidding. Um, so the nightmare might drag on, but it'll come to an abrupt end. Uh, we have launched off the Seneca cliff. There's no life vests. It's all downhill from here. Um, I don't know what makes us interested in the things that we are, that we're interested in, and I know that none of the knowledge that we possess actually changes the course of humanity or where we're going or but it sure makes our existence a little bit less sufferable and more much more palatable that's a bet that's what zoomers say bet and equality for all yeah climate justice <clears throat> mhm mm all right, I'm I'm grumpy and cynical. No, I'm realistic. All right. Would you live in London? Yeah, or hell no. A thousand people up in your face every day, clambering to get on the in the underground. Hmm. Nah, not worth it. You know better. Get away from people. Get as far away from people this decade as you can if you want to live. A little bit longer. Alright. See ya.